It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under, the man on a quest to make money for beer. Can the most electrifying manager in sports entertainment, the man they call Fabio, take Sutton United all the way to the Champions League final? Well, let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode one of our Youth Edition series now on FC24. We are taking hold of Sutton United. Fabio is our manager, uh, the superstar from last year's Youth Edition series. That was in Germany. We are back in England. We are in League Two with Sutton United. Now, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, there's a lot of changes. There's a lot of things to take care of. And I think this is going to be quite a difficult journey. So stick around, hit like, subscribe. And join me on the journey to taking Sutton United all the way to that Champions League final, hopefully with nothing but Youth Academy players. Let's jump in to season number one. Right, first and foremost, let's take a look at our season objectives, youth development. I'm sure we're going to take care of that because on this channel, all we concentrate on is youth talent. Uh, there will be a, the occasional regen if we need it, but uh, generally it's all based on the Youth Academy. Uh, brand exposure get a streak of five games with at least one goal. Let's hope that we can do that. We are playing on ultimate difficulty. Continental success, of course, nothing. Domestically, they want a mid-table finish. That's ambitious and reach the round of 16 in the FA Cup. It's just a, uh, a standard objective. Now, we've got a high financial priority here. So something that we really need to take a look at is finishing the season with a profit margin of 6.4 million pounds. Now, we might be able to achieve that because we will be selling everyone on the squad as soon as we can. And we will concentrate on bringing in Youth Academy players and the uh, optional free agent regen where we can if we do need to fill the squad out, which we probably will here early on. Uh, we'll only have one-star scouts. We're not gonna be bringing back a lot of talent and it's gonna be a long, hard road. So I hope you're ready for the journey. If you're returning once again for the Youth Edition, this is the 10th year, I think. I uh, thank you for your patronage. Uh, if you're new around here, welcome. Let's get into it. Right, so it doesn't really matter what the team is. It's more based on what formation we're running. And I'm going to start with five at the back because I think that we're going to be very uh, overwhelmed. But the idea here for me is to gradually morph this into a 3-5-2 uh, a formation and take the wing backs and move them up to, you know, left and right midfield and uh, become a very aggressive team. Fabio known for his flair, for his aggression and, and his speed. So uh, we'll look at his game strategy shortly, but uh, this is what we're rolling with at the start of FC 24. Right, no youth edition would be complete without utilizing the youth academy. We've got all one star, one star scouts at the moment, Sean Williams, Mika Nilo, and Christian Greco. Um, we are in England, Austria, and Scotland. Now, what I want to do on this channel, if you're uh, not familiar with this series, is ask you people at home where you would like me to scout. What you need to do is in the comment section, leave me a country. Let's stick with vanilla ones. Once mods become in play, we can start expanding. But for now, we're playing vanilla FIFA. Oh, geez, there's the slip of the tongue already. Vanilla FC 24. Um, so leave me the countries that you want to see scouted. Thumbs up on if you want to see those scouted too on anyone else's comment. And generally the ones with the most thumbs up are the countries that I pick the next time we head out. So uh, good luck. Get those countries down below. Okay, the all important youth academy. What have we got going on here? Not a lot. Um, we need all of them because ideally we want 11 players ready for the first match i'm not sure we'll be able to achieve it we've got a 15 year old here from japan in yamaguchi um 44 rated but the other three lads are going to be signed up we've got ethan thompson a left midfield left winger uh we're not using that to start with but 46 rated our first signing promote to the senior team ted simon from the netherlands 58 rated right midfielder not something we're really going to utilize, but we'll promote him to the senior team. And from Switzerland, Matthias Keller, another winger. <sighs> Come on. Welcome to the club. Right, so newly added here on FC24 is uh, the manager tactics. Now, uh, we've got coaches we can hire and tactical vision. Now, Fabio is going with a counter-attack style of play to start with. Low risk and low block are the keys to your team's style of play. Players defend the penalty area, and then once possession is regained, get the ball forward quickly with attackers ready to run into space behind the opponent's defensive lines. So I'm hoping to utilize these wingbacks to sort of get involved with the, with the forward play. Um, the two center mids can sort of help out 
box to box and then the cam will hopefully set up the play with the two strikers you can change the vision at any time we've got a whole heap of uh, different options um but being a, a league two really low rated side um i'm gonna sit back try and defend and 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 see if we can hit them on the counter attack now as for coaches uh, i've saved the money at the moment but um if we go into higher coaches there is the option here now you've got a weekly budget and they take a weekly salary i want to get the squad sorted first uh and then we'll look to maybe get some more cheaper coaches but i mean they're all still two thousand pounds a week and and that's really going to start adding up over time so um we will look to hire some more coaches we will need them but for now i think we've just got the one coach uh in the goalkeeping right no more training we've got training plans well you technically have some sort of training, but it's in the match thing, and we're not going to worry about it in this series. Uh, but we will be looking at the training plans. Now, what I've uh, experienced is very much stamina can be a big issue if you have a small squad and don't keep those rotations going. So I am going energy focused uh, on the first team, except for the goalkeeper. He's on all out performance. Hopefully he doesn't get too tired. We'll see how that uh, sort of pans out but everyone's energy focused at the moment and we'll see what we can do about you know lifting that sharpness it's a little bit different here on fc24 right so we've got our first three players in that's only three out of the 11 that we probably need for the first game so let's jump over to the free agency transfer hub and uh see if there's some players that we can pick up on the cheap right there are five regens available so that would take us to eight so we'll probably be a little bit short until those first youth academy reports come back in but basically we need to get signing and uh let's see if we can get all of these lads across i don't know their overall i don't know how much they want i don't know if they're willing to come to sutton but uh we will do our best let's get them all in so that we have some sort of squad that we can play this first season with Right then, we've signed up all the free agents and uh, we've almost got a squad together. It's uh, it's going to be a little bit rough. But we don't have a goalkeeper or any centre-backs. Uh, but from the free agent list, Mensa, 65 rated. That is uh, a solid option. The Ghanaian, 5 foot 6. And uh, Coleman, uh, what's he? 6 foot from Romania. So uh, short, tall. Yeah, that'll work. Hanlon, we picked up from Northern Ireland, five foot nine. Uh, the two youth academy players in Simon and Keller. Well, I mean, they're not really centre midfielders, but we'll make do. Uh, we pick up a right wing back, which will convert to the left in Papa. He is from Hungary at five foot seven. And we pick up pick up Keane, the right back, 61 rated from Northern Ireland. So we've got two centre backs and a goalkeeper to replace. And we're also chucking Thompson in the deep end, the left midfielder, five foot seven from Canada. You're going to have to play centre back, lad. Um, I'm not sure when the first game of the season is, but yeah, we'll just have to make do. Right, we do get offered a pre-season tournament invite. It comes a little later, not on day one now, which is nice to see. Uh, a little bit of variation. Now, uh, you know, we're not going to be the strongest squad, but we are chasing some cash. So let's do the European Shield. Right, first man out the door, Sam Hart. 300 grand. Thanks for coming. Right, we're all sale, sale, sale. It's a fire sale here at Sutton. Kirby gone for 105. Housefell, 175. And uh, Fata Hunsi has gone for 200 grand all right we've made a little bit of cash let's duck in and uh, at least get um a little bit of coaching now i think the coaches can actually grow as well so uh let's hire some coaches all right we are going to uh get the counter-attack style tactical vision coaches which you can tell from the little icon on the left it needs to match the top right symbol so this lad here leo woolly um one's across the board it's going to cost us a thousand pounds and uh he should be able to help us out a little bit so let's get him in and we'll just chuck him in defense for now right here's something to uh really take into account as well felix frisch here is uh accomplished he's got silver badge he's got two stars in mid skills and he's actually cheaper than this novice so uh just pay attention to that one but we are going to sign up felix all right we don't want to be spending too much more money uh got to keep an eye on that weekly budget if we want to start signing players we're going to have youth wages and all that kind of stuff but let's get nancy drake in Another midfield kind of expertise coach, uh, but at 1800, yeah, I'm sure we can deal with that. Right, so just the four coaches to start with. Um, ideal ratings, I'm not sure what the most we can uh, actually have. 
but we'll figure that out as we go through this campaign. Now, once you come to this coaching management screen and you look on the right hand side, these coaches actually help the plan development plan boosts. Um, so once you get those development plans on, if you have better coaches, they're obviously going to develop a lot quickly. So once we have the cash, we will be splashing it on these coaches. Okay, the match and kickoff screens have changed for FC24. When you first approach a match, this is obviously uh, the preseason. We can go straight to kickoff. We can get a pre-match report to see what their lineup is and what their style of play is. So it's telling me that they're possibly playing wing play. And you can also do training sessions. This is the old um, training drills, and this will give you some uh, play style boosts for your players in this particular game. I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to go to kickoff. And then you come in here, you've got uh, your tactical view, highlights, and then you can go into customize to uh, do all your changes, change kit, select side, all the stuff that you are, are used to. Now, for this, it's pre-season. So we're just going to quick sim. And it's a 2-1 defeat. Early stages here for Fabio. Jack Rose has been sold. He's gone to Salford City. We've done a series with them. Go and check that one out. 370 grand. Thanks for coming. Preseason against a PEC as well. And it's a 3-2 win for Sutton. Really? Well done, lads. Jonathan Martin sold to Accrington Bastard Stanley for 155 grand. And we are now taking on Elmia City for a 2-2 draw. All right, and just like that, we are ready for the first game of the season. We don't have a complete squad, so we are going to have to use some of the, uh, the players that are still here. But it... Every single regen and youth academy player in this squad will be in the starting 11. Uh, Pre-match report, wing play. We're not doing training sessions. We can do a press conference to uh, get up a little bit more morale. And here he is, Fabio. Jeez, orange suit, lad. Get in. A few questions here. We won't be doing all of these uh, on screen, but we'll just check out what's happening here for FC. What's the mood ahead of the first competitive game? Um, well, we try and improve every day. That's logical. Preseason's been good. Winning games can become a habit, but we know that hard work has to start now with all the philosophy that we have to improve as individuals. I don't even have time to read how quickly this is going. Come on, man. Um, yeah, whatever. Can you finish in the top half this season? <laughs> Like if we aren't dead last. Uh, we want to be safe, first of all. Yep. Good one, Fabs. All right. Um, and there'll be a third question, but this is definitely helping our, our team morale up. We've brought Keane in to bolster the Sutton squad. Looking at your plans for the future, those are the new addition mean Kizzy is probably on his way out. Yeah, he's probably on his way out. It's my job to make the difficult decisions. I'm not worried about upsetting people. Well, that's going to ruin the morale. But he has to make the, the difficult decisions here, does Fabio. All right. Thank you. No more questions. Right. So interestingly enough, like I'm just getting used to the subtle changes here. You don't see both squads side by side. So you can't actually see who's playing in there uh, without going back and then uh, looking at the pre-match report. So that's a little bit different, but I guess it's something that we need to get used to. Um, if we go in here... 62 62 62 okay so it gives you a little bit more info um and their tactical vision key defensive players okay so you can get a little bit more info on the team whether we worry about that or not i think we're probably just worried about survival at this point well then it is time to get into our first game of fc24 our youth edition with sutton united game one of the season uh thompson hating life negative 13 so that's going to make him what a 33 rated center back uh and he's about five foot seven keller and simon not too happy in the midfield either and of course we've still got some real players bazanis is uh australian i believe and on loan so Okay, we can deal with that for now. Hopefully, on those first Youth Academy reports, which should be back. It's the 29th of July, so they'll come back on the 1st. Hopefully, we've got some defenders and maybe a goalkeeper. Keep your fingers crossed, but let's get into the first game of the season. All right, here we go. No team lineups, no nothing. Straight in the action. Right, let's do this. Um, I'm going to have to mess with the camera settings for games until we get it right. I think this is the new tactical camera. Uh, we are seeing a lot more of the pitch. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you want to go back to the tele broadcast that I normally use so that you can kind of see it a little bit closer? 
Um, or are you wanting to see more of the pitch? Um, let me know your thoughts. So, I'm going to be slow starting here. And getting used to the speed of League 2 football. Here's Keller. Oh, we're through here. Good tackle. And there's the first goal. Walsall open it up just inside 10 minutes. And unfortunately, we're 1-0 down, conceding very, very early. Pretty piss poor defending that. Now, uh, it may be a little bit glitchy. I will keep you aware. My PC is probably a little bit outdated now for this one. I am looking to upgrade. Hopefully soon. But, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're starting to hit its limits. <laughs> it's very old. 1-0. Hanlon out there. No one really running at the attack. Come on, lads. Oh, that is disgusting. 2-0, 20 minutes. Oh, this could turn into a bloodbath. Well, fuck me. We might be in real strife here. The defenders just sitting around, basically playing with themselves. They're just stagnant. We're a bit late there. 2 0. Oh, that's a poor pass, lad. And across there. Bang! Go on, Thompson. Get in, son. Oh, he might make a centre back yet. Keen intercepts. Does well. Here's Keller. Has he got the speed? Is he a demon? Tries to work his way forward. Man not coming at him. Keller keeps running. He can look inside. Has the shot. Coleman. Oh, it's a goal for Sutton. Fucking get in, lads. 2-1. Sutton have a sniff. Coleman. The uh, Romanian. Jeez, he's a bulky lad. Oh, what a run this is. Slips it inside. And Coleman with a finish. 2-1. Sutton in with a sniff. Yeah, he's an absolute fridge. Get in, lad. Keeper, what was that? Oh, <laughs> League two, you love it. Get in, son. And there is the halftime whistle. 2-1 on the road at Walsall. Oh, come on, man. You can't be conceding like that. I can't get angry yet, but I will. Ah, off the sidebar and trickles in. Come on, lads. An own goal. Oh, my days. What a start it is for Fabio's career here at Sutton. It's off Keane. He's played so well. Off his head, off his shoulder and in the back of the net. 3-1. Go on, Thompson. We'll make a centre back out of you yet. Here's Pap. He's a back killer. Has to retreat now. Thompson, oh, he's given that one away. I think his passing skills will be better than anything. Oh, good save, Bazanis. Oh, fucking get in and have a go, boys. Oh. 4 1. And once again, we've got a statue defence. Defensive awareness of minus 45 and half a cock. Oh my days. Time to go to the pub. 4 1. Oh, go on, Thompson. He's an absolute demon. Keller does well. Here's Hanlon. Plays it forward. Mensa can't get in. Come on, lads. Get aggressive. And Johnson's through here. Bang. Five what? Walsall. I can guarantee you it probably won't be the worst defeat we have this season. It's going to get tougher before it gets easier. Oh, look. It's hyper motion. It's back. It's back for FC24. Gonna turn it off. 5-1. Oh, Johnson again. Jeez, he's been special for them today. Walsall makes it 6-1. Oh, 
And Fabio wondering if he's bitten off more than he could chew here. Taking the management role. He's flamboyant. He's not going to uh, worry too much, you'd feel. He'll get these boys playing some nice football in the future. But uh, Walsall today, obviously too strong. Oh, that'll be 7-1. Everyone's gone to sleep. They've given up hope. And they're just wondering if there's a cold beer in the fridge at the end of this game. Because uh, it's all been too much. We've absolutely capitulated here in the second half. 2-1 at half time. And uh, we are now <sighs> lambs to the slaughter. Why are you so far back, mate? Oh, no. He's going to play him through here. 8-1. And that is down to Thompson. He just ran back thinking everyone was running to the box. But the line stopped and he kept going. Oh, my days. Yep, there's certainly some things to fix if we want this squad to succeed. Oh, my days. 8-1. Rough. And there is the full-time whistle. We get put out of our misery. <sighs> Let's regroup. How many did Johnson get? He got himself a hat-trick. Oh, he got four from four. Well done. All right, it was pretty even possession. Oh, ball recovery time. That's a new stat. Uh, what have we had? 13 shots to three. Yeah, we got destroyed. And um, four tackles. Jeez, three saves. Yeah, but how many did he let in? Eight by the looks of things. All right, player performances. Well, the strikers weren't too bad. Coleman got himself a 6.9 with a goal. Keller with an assist, 6.4. Um, I thought Keane was very good at 6.3. And the keeper was bloody shocking. Luckily, he'll be gone soon. Well, then, it is the first of a new month. We've got our Youth Academy reports back. Uh, unfortunately, a few 15-year-olds, but we've got two we can sign up. From Austria, we've got Stefan Strobel, a goalkeeper, 48 rated, 59 to 81 potential. Welcome our new number one goalkeeper. Uh, Alfie Stokes, 48 rated. He's a centre back, so that's solid, but only 15. Yamaguchi's up to a 46, moving to a cam roll. We pick up Alistair MacArthur from Scotland, 50 rated winger. Um, acrobatic. And Nicholas Schmidt, 49 rated, 6 foot 1 from Austria. Striker. Well, we'll see what we can do with these lads. Let's get him signed up. So then, Strobel slots in, 48 rated. And Schmidt, we're going to try at centre back. Uh, negative 11. I mean, Thompson put in a good shift. Who knows? Six foot one. Maybe it will help. Mm. And that means we've only got one player left to replace, and that's good life. But uh, that's going to be another month before we get any more squad reports back. So uh, we'll just have to persist with that, unfortunately. Right. So currently, we have four coaches. And if I. Want to hire another coach? We only have one open position, so I've only got five coaches to play with. Now, we've got a bit of money to spend here. I've got to keep some for wages. I've got to keep some for Youth Academy scouting and the likes. But, um, yeah, we can probably spend a little bit of cash here. I'm not going to say, uh, you know, five stars across the board here. Albert Draper coming in to, uh, to help everyone out. But uh, we could definitely look to try and specialize a little bit. Uh, and maybe spend four or five grand. We've got Lance Todd here, who uh, could help us out across the back line. Um, but then you've got Albert Metcalf, who is so much cheaper, and four-star defense, four-star goalkeeper. And uh, I think that is a worthwhile purchase. Hired. Now, four stars. We're going to have to work on this goalkeeper something seriously. So uh, let's chuck him in there. Right, so we can see here that we've achieved six and ideal is five. So we're actually overreaching here with our goalkeeping coach. So we could switch them around, uh, get it back to five and try and put some of those points uh, here through the rest of the squad. Right, so we've moved Sykes to defense. We've brought Woolly down here. So we've got the five stars we need for goalkeeping. Uh, and that's all of our uh, coaches here at the moment. Eventually, we'll try and upgrade these people as well. Right, Harry Buterman sold off to Shrewsbury for 200 grand. Right, time to get into the second game of today's episode. We're taking on Doncaster, 62-61, 58 rated. Uh, they're playing a 4-3-3 holding. Right then, let's go. Strobel and Schmidt making their debuts here. So uh, good life, the only real player left in this squad, and he'll probably get a month here with us until we uh, get another academy player through the door. But... Um, 
You know, Komen looked all right. Mensa needs to have a bit more of an input. I liked Keen in that first match. And let's see how we go here for the first game or the second game of the season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. And we're wearing uh, green. Jeez, it's dark. We've uh, played with the brightness a little bit. And let's see what we can do here today. Well, another corner here for Doncaster. Oh, Strobel. He tried to get big, the Austrian. It was coming. Two good saves, but eventually the damn wall opens and Doncaster have the first goal of the game. Well, we lasted 12 minutes this time. So uh, we'll just slowly stretch that out a little bit further over time. And hopefully Fabio gets to keep his job. And as long as we do that money objective, we should be okay. Strobel tried to get big. But uh, unfortunately, no help. 1-0. Fabio not happy. Oh, come on, lads. Fucking defend. 2-0 Doncaster. Oh, mate, I know we always bite off more than we can chew early on in a youth edition, but... <sighs> just want to see a little bit of competitive spirit, boys. Can't just be dancing around like it's Friday night at the club. And I think that was Schmidty. We need some defenders. 2-0. Go on, Thompson. Here's Pat. Pushes forward. Lays it off Mensa. It's the touch. And gets the overlap run here from Kane. He's keen to get forward. And we'll get a corner. Still comes the Dutchman. Doesn't have much on offer. And there he is again, Kane. Geez, you could just about give him the captain's armband with the efforts he's putting in. Half time. We're down. Well, let's hope that we just don't explode in the second half again. Oh, good save, Strobel. Get him. Come on, man. 3 0 Doncaster. Statue defending once again. <sighs> to be fair, it's the same issues that we saw on FIFA 23. And don't forget, this is recorded pre release, so hopefully there might be a day one patch or something. Who knows? And keep screaming until we get something done. 3-0. Oh, Thompson! Oh, oh. Big challenge. Things you love to see. Oh, no! Fuck! 4-0. Broadbent. I, I think Strobel slipped over there. I think Thompson threw him off in the box. We'll have to wait to see the replay, but... Uh, Let's have a look. I think that's Thompson getting the block. Jeez, it's dark. The lighting's all over the show. Where was Strobel? He'd already gone down. Quicker than a $2 hooker. Oh, come on, boys. Lift. Go on, Thompson. Gets the clearance and again. Canadian maple syrup dripping in the back line. Come on, boys. Deliver something defensively, please. Kane. Get in, lad. Hanlon pushes forward. Mensa, get on your bike, son. What have you got? Here comes the counter. Hanlon, he's got this one through. Conan, get forward, Coleman. Oh, he's missed. Come on, son. And there's the whistle. 4 nil defeat, but... Oh, is there encouraging signs there? We'll see. It's all development this season. All right, match facts. 16 shots to three. Yeah, dominated once again. Six saves, though, from Strobel. Oh, we'll take that. All right, performance-wise, the forward line was pretty average, but looks like the defense held up. Strobel only a 5.2. I thought he had a better game than that. Right, straight away, almost instantly, we've got game number three. It is a cup game. We've got Morecambe. They are also playing counter-attack football. Uh, let's get the pre-match report. 57, 59, 61 defense. But, um, all right, there's a little man there that we need to keep an eye on in Mare. So you can see there on the screen the little eye. So he's the one that we need to watch out for, apparently. 
I think we need to watch out for everyone with our current squad. They're going to be tired after that last game. Oh, League 2. I forgot how many games there were. Right, so Morecambe taking on the Prawns. Uh, we're a bit tired, but uh, Mensa and Coleman with a bit of sharpness now. Strubble looked all right. Keane, I think, is uh, a future captain. But uh, let's jump into this game and see how we progress in the AFL Cup. Right, and here we go. Cup fixture. But, uh, yeah, just, just looking for something. We, we need to play with the player instructions and things like that. Uh, we're pretty just a stock standard formation here at the moment. Uh oh. Oof. Oh, defense. Non-existent. 1-0 Morecup. And with an absolute barnet going on there. Ah. Let the pain continue. Yeah, where's the defending? Even the commentary's talking about it. Struggle. Couldn't get a touch. I mean, look at the defenders just standing around like it's so unrealistic. Yeah, you tell them, Fabs. Time for a new hat. And there's half time. We're only 1 0 down. We're in with a sniff. Losing his mind. Ah. Cut straight through like a hot knife in butter. Love gets the finish. It's 2 0 Morecambe. And uh, we failed to get out of the sheds there by the looks of things. And the Gatorade and oranges haven't worked. Uh, we just get broken open. We're getting broken open with five at the back. 2 0. It's the wheel around here. That's Coleman. He pulls the trigger. Good save from Smith. And cleared. Oh, man! It's trouble. He's in trouble. He's done the old, woo, I'm a mime between the sticks. He's caught the Cathal Boyle disease. Oh, struggle! He went way early. Oh, my days. You get to see everything when you play lower league football on FC24. Because the players just don't have the stats. And everything crumbles and falls around you. Schmidt's played him on side as well, just sitting back. What is that struggle? <laughs> Four nil. Oh no. No! Five! Five nil. This team is completely out of juice. Oh my days, and it's still like another month until we even get more players just to at least have some bench that we can rotate through. Oh. Hold on your hats, folks. It's going to be a long journey. I hope you're ready. Will we be able to dig ourselves out of this mess? Or will Fabio be showing the door? 5 0. You've got to mark up for fuck's sake! Useless wankers! Sit there with your fucking hands in your pockets? Fuck me! I can handle a team being like ridiculously low rated, but it's just simple physics and mechanics of defensive pressure. It doesn't matter how shit you are, you know when to mark up. Fuck me! Oh, 7 0 to the fucking broads. Oh, welcome to FC 24. Things you love to see. DK losing his fucking mind. Oh, here it is again. Do I want to see it again? Probably not. Fucking mark up. And there's the whistle. Out of the cup, probably good for us, but uh, 7 0, that's rough. Right. Well, we had nine shots, so a little bit more competitive. 
Uh, but only the two saves and uh, conceding seven is never a good thing. All right, player performances. I mean, Mensa got a 6.4. For what? 6.6 uh, .6 from Pap, Schmidt, and Strobel only a four. Jeez, the goalkeepers just get rinsed on the ratings. Right, the final match of this episode, Sutton and Gillingham. Uh, they're using standard. Okay, let's do a pre-match report. A 4-1, 3-2, players to worry about. 62, 65, 63. They've won their last three. We might be in trouble. All right, a couple of uh, little changes around here. Mensa minus 23 playing center back. Keller goes to uh, left back, and I've moved Pap into the midfield. Schmidt goes up top. I mean... We're getting thrashed anyway. We may as well rotate things around and uh, see if anything works for us. But uh, Keane, very, very tired. Hmm. Right, here we go. Final game. Let's see if we can uh, make something happen here. It's been a uh, tough start to managerial work here for uh, Fabio. But, I don't know, he's got a vision. Simon lifts one up. Oh! Oh, it was nearly Thompson's goal! That would have been something special. Jeez, they've got some speed. They've got some speed. Uh, Gillingham, one. Sutton, fuck all. And they just went end to end. Thompson was trying to do something, then he just stopped. Mensa tried to throw a slide challenge in, but... Uh, yeah, you've been beaten on the near stick there, Strobel. 1-0. Plays it forward, though. Keane kept on running. Drives it deep. Oh, save! Schmidt, he's already done more than we've seen from Mensa. Oh, no, it's a penalty. Uh, I think Pap's just gone in there. Trying to help out the defense. Oof. Well, not every foul is a yellow card. I think the referee is right here. All right, Strobel, what do you got? Oh, big save! Get in, Strobs. Let's see some more of that. Oh, my days. All of our passes just being torn apart, ripped. Oh, that's a big challenge, and we've just let him straight in on goal. And that will be 2-0, Jelly. It's a rough one to watch, but hopefully you stick with it. Because I can guarantee, eventually, if Fabio holds his job, we will build a very special club. It's a journey, and it's, it's, it's an experience. <sighs> and that will be 3 0. No, he's offside. Tuck shit, dickhead. Oh, come on, lads! Fuck! 3-0 Gillingham. Shit-ass defending. Fuck me. Why are you giving me hype emotion for a fucking defensive error? Half-time. 3-0. Yeah, that'll be four. The second half. It's just not there for this squad. I mean, can we really expect much from basically a team of 17-year-olds? But even good life. The, the captain, the veteran. He didn't make much of an effort either. 4-0. Reinforcements. Can't come quick enough. Oh, my days. Well, that'll be five. And still 20 minutes to go. I'm sure you're enjoying the ducks on the pond right now. Oh, dear. Maybe we need to play park the bus. Maybe that's what we need to do. Oh, that'll be six. Oh, okay. Just got to get used to the gameplay. Maybe the camera. It's all right. We can be calm. 
We can be calm. I know it's a fucking train wreck. It always is. But we'll get there. Oh, fuck me. Good life is just shit as well. It doesn't even matter. <sighs> All right. We've scored one goal today. All right. Come on, boys. Don't make it another one. Really? Fuck me. 94th minute, dickhead. Blow your fucking whistle. Eight fucking nil. You found your whistle, ref. Thanks, mate. Eight nil. All right. Well, we had possession. Seven seconds of ball recovery time. Um, we attempted 32 tackles on only one four. That's probably telling you a bigger story. Four saves from Strobel, but he did concede eight. Right, performances. Uh, Coleman, I thought, was half decent. Uh, I mean, Keane, 6.9. Huge effort from this lad. Right then. Well, what a what a first episode that was. We've conceded 20 goals in the league. We've only scored one, and we're already out of the cup. 20 goals in three games. Is that, a, is that the worst start we've seen? I'm not too sure. Uh, the next episode, we'll, start, we'll have another four games. Um, and then I think it won't be till episode three that we get the next Youth Academy report. So uh, it's going to be a struggle. Hopefully, it's still entertaining. Hopefully, you enjoyed the first episode. And hopefully, you're ready for a big year here on FC24. Thanks very much for tuning in today. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos go live. Make sure you put on that notifications bell. We'll see you next time.